slavery didn't end because a couple of the brothers got together and say, hey, you know, let's, let's have a meeting tomorrow and end this slavery. Okay, no, it didn't happen that way. And there was a lot of pain, a lot of frustration. National University Assistant Professor Saul E. Langster II certainly knows the history. His great-grandfather was an emancipated slave who became a teacher, as did his grandmother and mother. And we knew all the time that if you get an education, nobody can take that away from you. And we were never taught to hate anyone, people, or just who they are. And many times, they don't understand why they are doing some of the things that they do. A compassionate perspective from a man who, as a child, saw hate at his own front door. The Ku Klux Klan came and burned a 20-foot cross in front of our home. It was terrifying. It was really terrifying. But it didn't scare my mom. It didn't scare her at all. And my mom went out on the porch, and she stood there, and she talked to them, and she told them, take your hoods off. Do she was challenging them, OK? They didn't burn the house down. No one was really hurt. But emotionally, we were all upset. But that upset would eventually turn into a profile in courage and determination. Saul Langster went to college in Selma, Alabama, and stepped into the history books. I was challenged by John Lewis, the now Congressman John Lewis, to lead a demonstration, uh, lead a group of college students on a demonstration that was going to take place in downtown Selma. He said, Dr. King is going to be here. Uh, you people, you people are going to be benefiting from civil rights. You need to get off your, you know what, and do something. And I learned then that when you do something, you got to be willing to suffer the consequences. You got to be willing to pay the price. The president of the university and my dad and others warned me not to. And I'm so glad that I did. And just think, I, I was given 53 years later a congressional gold medal for leading those demonstrations with Martin Luther King and John Lewis and participating in all of that. Dr. Saul E. Langster II went on to serve in Vietnam, was the first black firefighter in Compton, California, and a decorated police detective. But education is in his DNA. He's now an associate faculty member teaching criminal justice at National University, which is proud to salute this courageous American. You can be cheated out of your money, you can be cheated out of, of projects and so forth, or you can lose riches, but when you get an education, nobody can take that away from you.